No, if I must. Then y'all are going to have to help me through this, because I'm here. All right, y'all are going to have to help me through this. I'm an emotional guy. So let's get started. Appreciate it. So, hello, everyone. For y'all that don't know, my name is Dylan. Hey, Dylan. All right, hey, y'all. All right. I memorized this on the plane ride from Jacksonville to Atlanta, so that didn't give me enough time. That's only 45 minutes. So, uh... Let me first start off by saying thank you to the Bennett's. Y'all put on such a great event tonight. Yeah. Y'all are my second family. I truly love both of y'all. And I, I couldn't I couldn't have graduated high school or even college <laughs> with my parents. It took y'all. It took y'all. So uh, you know, I, I personally know I'm gonna have a good time. I don't know about y'all. But uh, I think the whole, hell, I think the whole neighborhood's going to have a good time. <laughs> if y'all see someone streaking later tonight, no, it is not me. <laughs> so um, when Brock first asked me to give a speech, that was about two days ago, just terrible notice by him, terrible time. But, um, you know, I was shocked. I didn't know I'd have this great opportunity. Brock's been my best friend since uh, seventh grade. We'll get into that. But uh, I thought, what the heck, you know, it'll save me a trip to the drugstore to get the eye drops, like wedding crashers. And uh, so, uh, <laughs> so uh, his one request that I, was that I didn't embarrass him. Well, for all of y'all that know me, you know that if you ask me not to do something, I am for dang sure gonna do it. <laughs> so, my goal tonight, I want y'all to look at him, and I want y'all to make his face as red as my shirt. <laughs> so, uh, to, to get serious here, I first met Brock in seventh grade, Coach Weisenbaker's class, to be exact. And I knew, I immediately knew I was going to be this kid's friend. He walked in with Jordan gear, dressed head to toe. I'm talking socks, shoes, shorts. He had a shirt. He had a hat. Brock, didn't you know we had a dress code? I'm surprised you didn't get All right, so uh, we both have older brothers, Dustin, my brother Matt. He'll be there tomorrow. Uh, they like to get to school early. And, uh, and, and so we, uh, me and Brock used to shoot the breeze, so to speak, in the uh, in the hallway. Brock didn't like to hang out with his brother in the car, and I can think of a big reason why not. Right back at you for earlier tonight. So, uh, so let's see. Uh, as we got older, we started to hang out more. Brock asked me to go up to uh, Boston to visit his brother Dustin. We had a great time. We, uh, let's see, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what about Boston? From, from that point, from that point, I knew that Brock would be the voice on my right shoulder saying, hey, you do not need to do this. And I was on my left shoulder saying, hey, not only do this, but go big or go home. <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> so, uh, we, hey, we also had a great time. We went out to visit my brother in Colorado. Uh, we had a great, a, a, a great time going whitewater rafting. You saw a picture of y'all going whitewater rafting. I think ours might top that, though. And uh, for reasons you can ask him later, as well as other events. Um, come senior year, we, we got really into working out. Some of y'all might have known that uh, me and him, uh, I got him as healthy as I, I like to. Whip, I like to hope that I got him as healthy as he did, or at least on his uh, path. <laughs> Clearly, you can see I'm not that way. <laughs> but, uh, but we started working out. We had this tradition on Friday afternoon after work. We would go to the gym, do one exercise. We would max out on bench. That's all I cared about. And then we would go home. So, uh, also we had talked about and we had decided that we would be college roommates. You know, we knew that we were the people to room together at out, or excuse me, to room together no matter where we went. We had an exception though. 
we agreed that it would not be all of them. Can I get a roll tie? Roll tie. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, uh, let's see. Uh, true story about Alabama, though. Brock and myself had never been to the Alabama campus before orientation. We went there, me and Brock, and our, our family, obviously, and uh, never stepped foot on that campus before we started. And um, when we got there, though, Brock saw the size of the gym, and he knew he was at home. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Uh, I ended up missing the first half of my semester at, uh, at Alabama. I like to think of this as Brock uh, trailblazer blazing the trail for me and uh, he knew that I, I knew that my college was in his uh, he was thinking of the best interest and knew I was going to have a good time blazing the trail Definitely was. Yeah. so um, you know one thing I really do and I'm sorry if I get emotional I, I really do admire the courage that Brock displayed by uh, not only going out we all know the story he went out tried out for the baseball team made the team, some of his teammates are here right now. And he did that, I'd hate to say without support because he has a loving family, but he, he knew no one, uh, sorry, he knew no one at Alabama at this point in time. So you gotta give it up for him. He uh, tried out, <laughs> was a typical player. And uh, so I, I love him for that and um, Let's see here. Uh, I long, speak a little bit more about Ashley. Uh, I long with many of you here, maybe a few of you here, I know Stacy's in the crowd and maybe a few others, but uh, I had the pleasure of growing up with both Ashley and Brock, and mainly Ashley, and uh, <laughs> through middle school and high school. And I had, you know, we all had the benefit of uh, seeing the relationship take off, so to speak, towards the end of their a latter part of our high school career. I remember having to go on double dates with this kid just to make him feel less nervous around Ashley. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that's how high school went. And you know that's true, Mr. and Mrs. Betty. And, uh, so I can only think of great things to say about Ashley, uh, you know, and the person she is. She's smart, much smarter than Brock. She's going to be the breadwinner. We all know that Becky has the brains in this family. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. So, uh, you know, and uh, Ashley is as kind of a person that you'll ever meet. I remember her having me over for dinner. I didn't like tilapia, but she made it for me. And I, I acted like I liked it. Just, just, you know, I was eating healthy just to make her feel better. And uh, so, she, yeah, like I said, she's this kind of person. And I'm so happy that Brock met the woman of his dreams. And high school, Stacy, everyone in high school saw that come to fruition. So I'm, I'm really happy for that. Uh, now, if you would, go ahead and raise your glasses with me. Whether they're full of muscle milk, you know, it's <laughs> or champagne. You beat me to it, Dylan. Uh, hey, man, I'm sorry. I stole your thunder. So, uh, you know, explode. I know maybe some of y'all got that. And uh, champagne is what I got. But, uh, can we please toast to Brock and Ashley? Cheers. Cheers. And uh, to that, to the couple of the night, to live on her, to die on her. <laughs> I love y'all, and I truly wish a lifetime full of health and happiness. And I hope for many years to come, I will be y'all's friends, and we can continue this relationship moving forward. So, Drop the mic, but I don't want to break it. So. Thank you so much. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, baby.